Hello, my name is Stefan Schenk. I'm one of the MDs of Ari Technik, and we're here at the BSC show. And today we are announcing a new large format camera system. It's not just a new camera, it's an entire system. There is, of course, the Alexa sensor with a larger format version of it, so it's called the Alexa LF. There is a new mount called the LPL mount, so the large PL mount. And there is an entire set of ranges, 16 lenses in the end, the RE signature lenses, also in full format, so also large format lenses for the large format uh, camera. And this really gives you a three-dimensional feel, an immersive uh, look to the image, and that is something that everybody has been asking us for, and we hope we really can um, add a tool for cinematographers that they really, really will embrace. All right, so we have a new lens mount on the camera. It's called the LPL mount, large PL. It's 62 millimeter um, diameter and 44 millimeters flange focal depth. That is ideal for making large format lenses. We, of course, have our own Airy Signature Primes that work with this camera, and the combination of the Airy Signature Primes and the camera is just fantastic. However, we know that the rental houses have a lot of Super 35 PL mount glass out there, so there's an adapter, the PL to LPL mount adapter here, that goes into the LPL mount, and then you can attach PL mount lenses to the camera. You can use full frame PL mount lenses or Super 35 PL mount lenses. Now, Super 35 PL mount lenses don't cover the whole sensor. The sensor is slightly larger than full frame. I have one here. That's the sensor. Uh, full frame is 36 by 24 millimeters. This sensor is 36.7 by 25.54 millimeters, so larger than full frame. So most Super 35 lenses don't cover, but we have a sensor mode called LF16 by 9 which is the smallest image area that is still considered 4K. It's 3840 by 2160 pixels, so that's 4K UHD, that should fulfill the television series 4K mandate. And we did some tests and we found that master primes starting from 35 millimeter focal length on do actually cover this LF 16 by 9 sensor mode. Ultra primes probably also cover. In fact, there recently was a German Netflix television show called Dark that was shot with Ultra Primes and an Alexa 65. So we know that kind of thing will work. I think this camera will work in two capacities. It'll be the camera for high-end feature films. People will shoot Airy Raw using the SXR capture drives and be very happy with this camera. But I also think television series will be able to use this camera. And for those people, we built in ProRes. So unlike the Alexa 65, this camera can record ProRes and it can accept SPS Pro Plus cards. So you have these two options. The workflow apart from that is exactly the same as it was with Alexa XT. All our tools work, we've updated all our tools, and you just shoot as you had before, the same area look management, everything works as you had before. So let, let's, let's talk a little bit more about the sensor. The sensor can be put into three sensor modes. The first one is LF open gate. That's the whole sensor, all 36.7 by 25.54 millimeters, which is 4448 by 3096 pixels. So it's a 4.5K sensor. The second mode is called LF 2.39 to 1. That uses the full width of the sensor, but not the full height. It's a widescreen image. That's for people who want to shoot with spherical lenses for a cinemascope picture. Um, but that's also where we get the highest frame rate. In open gate, the sensor goes 90 frames a second. In LF 2.39 to 1, it goes 150 frames per second. And then there's a third mode, which is LF 16 by 9, that also goes 90 frames per second. And as I mentioned before, that is 4K UHD. Now you can record this in Airy RAW onto SXR capture drives, one terabyte or two terabytes, or you can record this in ProRes, and that you can record onto the S by S Pro Plus 256 gigabyte cards. It's all very similar to what we had with previous Alexa XTs. And in fact, we support ProRes 422, 422HQ, 4x4, and 4x4XQ. And the 4x4 and the 4x4XQ are 12-bit codecs. So that's very, very high image quality for te high-end television series. The camera should be available at the end of March. The price in euros is 74,000 for a basic camera set that includes the camera, the viewfinder, the handles. It includes the PL to LPL adapter and one receiver for the wireless video transmitter that is built into the camera. We also, and this is very exciting news today, on top of all the other exciting news, 
We also have been able to license the LPL lens mount to other manufacturers and we already have been told by a number of companies that they want to support the LPL lens mount. That includes Ingenue, Cook, Leica, Panavision, Zeiss and the Airy Rental. They're going to rehouse all the existing 65 format lenses for LPL lens mount. So there's a huge amount of support for the new lens mount standard.